Lucas Matisse versus a, a Jose Lushigim. Yeah, when this fight was first announced, I was really happy to hear that Jose Lusikin finally got the opportunity to challenge for a, a world title, a be it being an interim world title. But then I realised who he was fighting against, and uh, Lucas Matisse is, pound for pound, one of the best, if not the best, one-punch knockout artists currently in boxing. Uh, and then my sort of happiness went to sadness. Olushigan is a very good fighter. Um, he's fought at British level. He's spent a lot of years in England. And his unorthodox style is one that's been quite pleasing for some. Um, and I think the problem with Olushigan is because he's got such an awkward style, none of the fighters, none of the world champions wanted to fight him. I think most recently he tried to challenge Eric Morales, who I think think had had uh, Alicia going to be fighting Eric Morales tonight um, although Eric Morales got beat by Danny Garcia I'd give um, Alicia Gunn a better chance against him I'd give him a better chance against Danny Garcia but against this guy Matisse I'm struggling because uh, Alicia Gunn, although this is his big opportunity and big show big opportunity to to put a show in front of the whole world to let the world know exactly how good he is he's now fighting against a guy as I said he's a one punch knockout artist and he has been in there with some of the best Zab Judah and Devon Alexander and for me again I think that he beat both Alexander and Zab Judah Alushigan has fought nowhere near that quality of opponent and Alushigan with all the um, gifts or technical ability that he has where he's able to switch it and do the things it does um, and has made him so difficult to to face um, it's one thing doing that at British or maybe European level but doing that at world levels are totally different different kettle of fish and when you're doing that against someone of one punch dynamite power um, you know you're gonna have to box your socks off to win um, and I just fear, in this fight, Alushigan, this fight, this, this, the whole of this, the whole reason why this fight was arranged for me, and I think, was, uh, people in boxing, feared Alushigan, so they thought, well, you know what, let's match Alushigan up, with a guy who's dangerous. Look, if Alushigan wins this fight, um, he will have announced himself on the world stage. He really will have, but he'll have to come for a real tough tough fight against Lucas Matisse. For me, I think that uh, Lushigan will give um, Matisse the run around for a while. But um, I think in the later rounds, round 9 or between rounds 8 to 10, I'm looking for uh, um, Matisse to find trap uh, Lushigan on ropes and to get caught and to knock Alushigan out. So I'm looking for Matisse to win this fight inside 10 rounds. Um, I know that Alushigan scored a lot of wins at the lower levels, but I'm not sure sure if that if that technical ability is good enough at this level. Um, and he hasn't fought enough play people at world level for me to be confident that those skills are going to be good enough at that level. So for me, it's Lucas Matitha by knockout. And don't be surprised that if this fight goes to point and the Lushigan boxes well, that Matitha gets the decision. It's because for whatever reason, um, Lushigan um, and his skills and who he is is not really appreciated by the boxing fraternity. And why he hasn't had a world title shot until now, I don't know. But... Um, like I said, against Morales and against Garcia, they're giving him a fair shot. Um, but against this guy, Lucas Matisse, the guy's a beast. And for me, Matisse wins by knockout. This is Bayloric TV. I'm out.